This is just a quick follow-up video to my previous garage door fix where the garage was sagging. Um, previously I welded in this piece down here that's hard to see and then put in a few extra self-tapping screws. And that was working fine for a while because the original crack was over here. But it just shifted the pressure point, which was expected, but it didn't last as long as I'd hoped. And the pressure point moved over here and it ended up cracking the steel here. You can kind of see that crack through there. So the garage started flexing again. Um, what I did is I went to a garage store, um, picked up this rib. Actually, they dropped it off at my house for me. This is like the rib that goes towards the top of your garage door. Um, I basically, I just added it here. They said, just go ahead and take off the top um, screw right up here and put it there. And then I just put a self-tapping screw down here. I just did that on each section. So it'll hold it for now. Um, but this garage door has really just had it. So we're actually in the process of replacing it. We are ordering it and we'll replace it with an insulated garage door, which I actually look forward to. And it'll be darker in color, so it'll hide this black dust that I get everywhere in my garage. Um, I'll still have to clean it off occasionally, but let's see how well it does. I haven't opened it up since replacing that. Yeah, that holds much better. Somebody previously in the watch this video and can give themselves a pat on the back. They said I should have ran the fix all the way across, which would have helped. I still think it would have fatigued, but that rib sticks out, you know, what, a couple of inches or so. And so that really adds, makes it a lot sturdier. And it's, and it's into the actual frame right here instead of having to do anything with this thin material. And so... That'll hold until we get our new garage door, which which is going to take um, a few weeks. They order only on Wednesdays. Today is when, or Thursday. So it's a week before they can order it, and then it's a couple of weeks to get it in. So anyway, if you really want to fix a sagging garage door, I think the best option is probably just go down to your local garage place and pick up one of those ribs. And I bet they're fairly cheap. They're, they gave, they even gave this one to me for free because I'm ordering a door through them. But if I would have had to pay for this, I bet it wouldn't have been probably more than 15 or 20 bucks max. So that's what I would recommend. 72 degrees yesterday, and we have a little bit of snow or hail falling throughout the day. This is the outside of the garage. This is the location of the tear on the on the opposite side is torn and you can see it's actually torn on the outside too So it's really weak at this point and that's one reason I was like well we should just replace our door at this point because the tear had propagated itself to the outside so mm -hmm.